You can have both chirality in the lab, but when it comes to biology, we're always going to make one-handedness. That is fast. The sugars that we make on Earth all have a certain chirality because the, the, the sugars are a C6H12O6 ring. There's a ring of carbons, right? It's a, it's a little hexagon of, of carbons and oxygens. And the way in which they're arranged are always in one particular handedness. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gotta you gotta go you, you gotta go clockwise to see the 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 way that the elements are formed. But you could make sugars in the lab that are not that are the exact opposite direction. The chirality is the. Opposite. It's just that all of life on Earth, mm -hmm. for some reason, makes one handedness of sugars. And that has to do with the fact that all of the proteins that we have on Earth have one-handedness, mm -hmm. okay? So there's proteins, like uh, all of the primary amino acids in life, right, except one, glycine, are chiral. And so th there's isomers of these amino acids where you've got the D isomer and the L isomer, the left-handed form and the right-handed form. And most of our amino acids are the left-handed form, okay? It just is what it, it is. is. Right. Because I and there, there's actually the, the, this is a big um, mystery in like the origin of life. Like, how does everyone like in the same? You know, you could have picked two, two, and everyone's picked one, yeah. right? And it's probably because whatever primordial ancestor was the first, you know, primordial origin of life on Earth picked the left-handed form, and then as everyone descended from that. Right, the DNA became left-handed. The proteins became left-handed. The glucose that comes out becomes a certain handedness. Everything becomes that handedness, and so you can make stuff in the lab, that right? Is, that, is. that is both, right? You 